Nation and look at the Renegades of Wrestling Booker T. They roll deep. Yeah, they, 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 they call a posse, man. They're game. Uh, let's just let's say, it's tell it tell like it is, man. I mean, they come here to run rough shot. A bunch of young guys, the youngest faction in wrestling uh, right now that's going. And I tell you, the Renegades of Wrestling, Rope, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to take over. But the thing is, man, we've got a lot of major players here, a lot of old school uh, players still here at Reality Wrestling. That's not going to let that happen. They, these guys, these young guys, if, if it happens, they're going to have to take it by force. Can that happen? That's the question. Well, Rudy Garza and OB are going to be our two representatives of the Renegades of Wrestling. And what a faction this is, Booker T. Oh, what a group. Isaiah James, Sean Hendricks, along with the insidious one. Get a look at that. Legion, the Reality Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I mean, the insidious one. I mean, what is what is that? You know, we, we still haven't been able to find out. I think everyone's a little bit too afraid to ask. But they are the Reality Wrestling Tag Team Champions. <laughs> What's crazy is, man, that the fans are uh, looking around. The fans, they're actually growing on the fans a little bit. I don't know if this is the, the legion effect that, you know, the, that goes back to the tree book when these guys first started this thing. I mean, is it your birthday? I hope it's not your birthday today, Bradley, because you could be out there with legion if something. <laughs> it, it, it's not. It's actually Monday, but so I'm, I'm okay right now. But I even see signs out in the crowd saying, we are Legion, we are many, right over there. So you're right, they have an effect on the Reality Wrestling Nation. And the thing is, you got so many people out here with masks on, you don't know who they're with. You know what I mean? You look at the Insidious one, she's masked up. So, so you don't know if we got a lot of followers out here or not. It's kind of crazy right now. It's got a weird feeling to it. Weird feeling indeed, but you always talk about the renegades of wrestling. You have to mention the numbers game. I mean, they... Roll deep. I mean, look at these guys right now just looming, man, just hovering. I mean, come on, referee, do your job. Get these guys to make sure they find a spot, all right? Make sure these guys find a spot because this is when, you know, chaos happens. I mean, just look at them, and everybody's lurking. Something's about to happen here, Brad. I don't know what it is, but it seems like something's about to happen. I don't know. See, yep, about, look at that. Yeah, talking about this gang mentality. This gang mentality right here. I mean, it's... Jay Alexander taking out Sean Hendricks. Referee did not see it, but the match hasn't started, no, so it doesn't match, really matter no, either. No, the match has started. The, re the referee actually, Isaac Bouillon, actually rang the bell, if I'm not mistaken. Well, chaos ensuing in the early goings of this match. But it looks like Isaiah James has no choice but to continue well, I mean, on. Yeah, exactly. There's the I opening mean, bell. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, you got only a certain amount of time before you got to get this match done. And the referee didn't see what happened on the outside. I mean, it's a disadvantage right here. And Isaiah's going to have to go out here and fight two on one. Or is it six on one? I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, you, you never know. And with the Renegades of Wrestling, they oh, might have that, more that, disciples. I mean, come on. It was, what the hell is going on? But Isaiah James. Trying to fight back. I mean, Isaiah's going to have to hold these guys off for a while and, you know, until his partner gets back on track. And right now, Hendricks is down. But Isaiah's hold, holding his own right now. Beautiful oh. shot. Beautiful shot. Good like fake this. out there you know from what? Isaiah I like this kid, Isaiah. I mean, right now, I mean, he, of course, he's a little stoic at times, but when this kid get going, he's actually pretty good in the ring. Look at that. Speaking of pretty good in the ring, Rudy Garza. Wait a minute. Tilt the World head says they're into some sort of submission hole, but look at that. Turns here. it into a Tilt the World backbreaker, two, and a kick out. Beautiful work there by Isaiah, trying to, just trying to stay in the game right here. And you got to keep his feet moving. What, you know, if he's a boxer right now, they say, got, kids, you got to stay on your bicycle. You got to keep your feet moving. There's OB. You said you like to call him Red. 
young kid here in reality of wrestling. Look at that. Isaiah James with another fake out. Oh, beautiful kick right there. No, and the thing is, what I like about that, Red, I mean, it was, it was nothing fancy. Down, dirty, to the point. Rudy Garza out here dancing on the ring apron. He loves what young OB is doing to Isaiah James, and they have a chance to become tag team champions. Wait, would you let the uh, free bird rule in here, Booker T? Could any no, member no, of Leech no, 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 or no. Renegades be the let's, champion? Let's not think that way. I mean, right now, I mean, OB, I hate that name, but like I said, the kid has talent. Oh, look at that, big clothesline. Big clothesline covering a kick out. Isaiah James still trying to go it alone. Sean Hendricks now finally able to get on the ring apron, but still in a bad way. The insidious one shouting him on. Trying to get him back in the game. And wait a minute, OB. OB with a big move. One, two. Tag team wrestling. Booker, you wrestled out in the elements before in a tag team. I mean, think about uh, Road Wild against the Steiners yeah, where yeah. Harlem Heat won their 10th WCW Tag Team Championship. Yeah, definitely um, had that, um, that same feeling, um, you know, just... You know, under the stars, you know, um, reality of wrestling tonight under the stars. You know, 15th anniversary of Christmas Chaos. But yeah, it definitely has a certain feeling to it. But I look at what's happening here tonight. I look at Isaiah. I look at uh, the Renegades. I see these young guys going out here, you know, trying to do one thing, and that's come up, trying to become champion. These young guys are have gone through a whole lot. Uh, but uh, we we'll become champion tonight. One, I don't, I don't know. Two. I don't know. Can they become champion tonight? Yes, they can. Absolutely, and great frequent tags from the Renegades of Wrestling, and that's not an option right now for Legion as Sean Hendricks still reeling from the attack from Jay Alexander on the outside. I mean, come on, I mean, I don't know what what happened, but I tell you, um, big. I mean, what do they call him, Johnny Boy? Jay Alexander. Uh, I mean, the, the kid just, uh, I mean, you look at him, he has a lot of muscle. And I don't know what he hit him with. I don't know with a forearm shiver. I, I, I couldn't see from my vantage point. But whatever it was, it you know, put Hendricks in dire straits there for a minute. But it looked like he's trying to get back on track. Oh, beautiful from Isaiah James. Cover. One, two. Isaiah, you need to get a you need to get a, a tag, kid. You need to get out of there right now. You have a chance, and you don't want to waste it. But I and I know you're feeling for your partner. You, you want to try to get in there and do all the work, but you know you you gotta pass the baton, son. And a big shot there from Isaiah James. And a cover and a kick out right there at the last second. Just, just two. Come on, easy. And now a tag into OB. OB knocking Sean Hendricks off the apron, Booker T, and that could have been Isaiah James' opportunity to try to get the fresh man in. Let me tell you, um, I, I look at the kid, OB, and I say, man, um, he, he's young. But, but he's, he's learning very, very quick. That was a veteran move right there. When you can't stop the you know guy from making the tag, you go over and knock the hell out of his partner. And right now, we know exactly what Hendricks is feeling. Right now, Hendricks is still dazed and perhaps confused. You see the insidious one trying her best to get him back in the game. There you see all the action from what we call our Casper Cam in the sky, like a ghost just traveling around. That's a beautiful shot right there, it Booker T. a beautiful shot. This is Reality Wrestling, the flagship of Texas Wrestling, Christmas Chaos 15, coming to you live. Well, Sean Hendricks now back to the apron, and he is begging, he is pleading, he is conjoling Isaiah James to be able to get over to that corner and get a tag in, and Isaiah James needs it desperately. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm going to tell you, man, I'm, a, I'm watching the technique of this young kid, and I must say I am very, very impressed with OB. And can Isaiah James fight his way out of this one? Oh, well, he's going to tap. Is he going to tap? No, 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 he's not. 
somehow finding some energy in the reserves. A big sidewalk slam wow. from one half of the tag team champions. I tell you, Isaiah, you know, that, you know, he may have, you know, you know, just dumped every little bit of energy he had and, you know, just trying to make a comeback right there. And, and I tell you, no. he's done a hell of a job, but that's it right there. Rudy Boy, let's one, take it two, and a tail wow. kick out at two and a half. I tell you, the renegades of wrestling, I tell you, these young kids become tag team champions. There again, uh, Freebird rule, who's going to, you know, defend the championship? I don't know. Oh. Right now, OB oh. is making a, a oh. quite impression on me as far as being one of the young lions here in reality of wrestling. I like him. Even though he's on the wrong side, I like him. Just wearing down Isaiah James' frequent tags from the renegades of wrestling tag team Wrestling really at its at its best, Booker T, cutting the ring in half, not allowing the fresh man to get in. Yeah, I like that, too. I mean, the thing is, you're exactly right. I look at OB. I'm just looking at this kid. He's having a lot of fun. He's having a lot of fun learning the technique, learning the art. Oh, oh right there. Minute. Got caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Got caught sleeping a little bit. No fun, no moss. Oh, wow. And a tag. Tag to Sean Hendricks. And there he comes. Sean Hendricks, the leader of this group called Legion for the last, what, five years now. Oh, oh, longer than that. It's going strong. Here you go. He has it. One, two, and OB breaking up the count at the very last opportunity. Oh, ah, ah, man. That's what I'm saying. This kid right here, nothing pretty about those forearms right there, but they're very, very effective. Very effective indeed. Oh, it looked like we finished. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. That's a cover. One, two, and he gets to him at the very last second. Isaiah James spearing OB into Rudy Garza. Isaiah's back in the fight, man, and that's, that's what I'm saying right there. Isaiah, what, look at him. He's begging for it. He's like, come on, give me more. Look at this. This is a fight. And firing up, and now some big forearms and fists to the left side of the face of OB. Oh, wow. beautiful. Beautiful. What kind of maneuver was that, but it was, it was, it was nice. It, it was effective. It worked, and right now, looking like... Oh, wait a minute, Please Warren Johnson. Wow, come on. Warren Johnson. And wait a minute, the boots being put to. Isaiah James on the outside. Referee distracted. Hold on. Hold on, Booker T. The insidious one. Insidious one off the top rope. The insidious one just took out all the Legion. You oh, excuse me, all of the Renegades. You gotta be kidding. That's what I'm talking about. I always wondered why was the insidious one out of here? I mean, but but right there, she's proved she's a very valuable part of this group. You gotta love it. And when Isaiah James back inside, what are they going for right here? Oh, shell fall! Oh, shell fall! Wow! Beautiful cover. One, two, three, and still. Tag Team Champions, The Legion. Wow. Tag Team Champions. What a move off the top rope there. They call that the all will fall and all did indeed. Let's take a look at back at some of the highlights from this match brought to you by the King of Solar Screens. There you see the insidious one going up to the top rope and a big crossbody taking out all the renegades. And then, there it is again, the all will fall. Beautiful there. From Sean Hendricks and Isaiah James and the Insidious One, Legion are still the tag team. I tell champion. you, man, 2021 is going to be an awesome, awesome year. Christmas Chaos 15 yes, continues on here from the World Gym Arena. This is Booker T World Gym Arena in Texas City, the home to the Reality of Wrestling Training Center.
It's a 20,000 square foot facility with more than 50 full-time students and wrestlers from around the world. Inside the World Gym Arena sits a 9,000 square foot venue set up for weekly shows. From up top, one, two, boots. Where our students showcase their skills in front of a live audience. What he's done here is it's awesome. He's created opportunity and he's creating great talent as you guys well know. In the back of full weight room. Six, up. Complete with state of the art equipment and personal trainers. There you go, there you go. Two more, two more, two more, two more. A full staff and office personnel. One more, one more. Running the day-to-day -day operation. We have interview sets for TV production, promo classes, quarterly combines. We evaluate progression and team building. Referees, commentators, ring announcers, and live television production. At the World Gym Arena, we don't just teach you how to become a professional wrestler, but an elite sports entertainer. This is Reality of Wrestling. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's 2020. I don't know what the deal is going on. Come on in, man. Booker T! Oh, hold on. Let, let me go. Let me get back with you. Let me get back with you. I, I need to talk to you. What's going it's on? It's the man? biggest night of the year and your fastest rising star isn't on the show. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I got a whole lot going on right there. I mean, I'm tired of this book. I need a better spot around here. I mean, I know you need a better spot. I'm liking everything you're doing. You're coming up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? Are you having a conversation? You know what? I could care less. You don't want to you wanna know what I care about, book? Okay? I care about Christmas chaos. I care about Ryan Davidson. I care about being the first ever Grand Slam champion, the master of that Davidson drip, and yet steel cage match, Savage King. Yeah. Oh, you oh, you trying to play some games? You know, ever since that I've represented this company, all you've been trying to do is just stack the deck against me, man. Okay. Just stacking the deck, man. Yeah, it's about competition around here, all right? All right. You, you haven't seen the deck be stacked yet, okay? You want to see the deck stack? I tell you what, next week, instead of one-on-one -on -one with you and Savage Key, I got something a little bit better for you. Let's make it a triple threat match for the Reality of Wrestling Championship. And the third man, gonna be Cam Cole. You're in the game, Cam. Oh, yeah! Oh, just what, what I've been waiting about? for. Introducing first, she is the challenger. Down the fort right now is Booker T having to deal with the breaking developments here going on at Christmas Chaos. But nevertheless, now the former Reality of Wrestling Diamond Division Champion Roxy walks out under the stars here in Texas City, Texas, looking to regain what she still feels is rightfully hers. She is the longest reigning Diamonds Champion in history. She is the youngest champion in Reality of Wrestling history. And tonight, her guaranteed contracted rematch against the new champ. Well, Thomas Braxton is saging down the reality of wrestling nation like she's Kyrie Irving at the TD Garden. Nevertheless, she is the new champion. You see the title around her waist. You see the confidence on her face. Thomas Braxton walking into the new year feeling good. What's up, Mark? For many of you who've watched reality of wrestling, for the years that I have been calling the action on the desk, you know when it comes to title matches involving new champions, when it comes to the first defense of a new title, I always say the same thing. And it always holds true. 
It's one thing to win the title. It's another to defend it. Here we are. The opening bell has sounded at the World Gym Arena, Booker T World Gym Arena, here under the stars, deep in the heart of Texas. And there's collar elbow tie up. Promise Braxton getting the upper hand. Now a wrist lock there from Roxy, the now challenger for the title. Promise Braxton, I guess, still has her mask on. <laughs> Afraid, perhaps, of the Road Nation. You saw her saging them down. Side headlock here. Oh, beautiful takeover from the champion. Head scissors there by Roxy, back in a controlling position. Roxy using the strength in her lower body to keep Promise Braxton down. Promise Braxton finding a way out of it, wiggling through, looking for early pin. Cover one, Whoa. kick out by Roxy. Here we go again, Roxy, head full of steam. Still reeling from that championship loss. There we go, Roxy, a curtsy almost. A little smack talk to the new champion. Promise Braxton has to be careful here. It's very easy to have that championship level confidence cover one, kick out after one. It's easy to have that championship level confidence when you win the title. That's a huge monumental occasion is what you get into this industry for to be a champion. Promise Braxton has accomplished that. She has been able to get that done. However, you cannot let that confidence turn into cocky. And that is what she is on the borderline of already doing in her young and early career and championship run. Another collar elbow tie up, Promise Braxton the taller of the two competitors using that leverage and now some right hands roxy returning with some forearms still playing by the rules these two ladies going at it though here at the world gym arena oh wait a minute the referee having just break it up and what was that a rake to the eyes from the ch from the champion to the challenger a rake to the eyes to get the advantage i'm sure booker was still here calling the action with me he'd say well, you know, Bradley, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But I'm sure he doesn't appreciate that in a title match like this. Oh, my goodness. A slap to the face that sent the fillings of Promise Braxton somewhere near Des Moines, Iowa. What a fantastic slap there from Roxy. And now one, two, two, two. Oh man, I thought she might've had it right there. We might've had a new champion after that. Sometimes when you slap the taste out of somebody's mouth, you completely throw them off of their game plan. It's the old adage by Mike Tyson that has been overquoted, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Everyone has a plan till they get punched in the face and Roxy, Again, using the power in her lower body. Those legs are so powerful of Roxy sending Promise Braxton into the turnbuckle and then those double knees. Double knees to the grill. Cover. One, two. Kick out after two. Roxy. Oh, working on that left arm of Promise Braxton. Snapping it so hard, she got brought Promise Braxton to her knees. Good reversal there from the champion. Head full of steam. Roxy had it scouted again. But I think Promise Braxton this time. Oh, my goodness. Promise Braxton shifting her weight forward, sending Roxy right into the cover. One, two, tight cover. Sent Roxy into that middle turnbuckle. The Bret Hart rope, as some people have called it. And now sending her face right into that second turnbuckle. Thank the Lord it has the pad on it. Nevertheless, you are feeling the effects of the inertia and force of your forehead. Oh, going right in. Oh, through a steel buckle. Cover, one, two, kick out after one from Roxy. Promise Braxton gonna have to do a hell of a lot more than she's doing right now if she plans on keeping the former Diamonds Division champion down. Looking for a reverse neck breaker, hits it. But look at that, 
dusting off her hands. She's not going for the cover. This is not how you retain a championship. This is not how you have a long title reign by having a nonchalant attitude to a competitor the caliber of Roxy, no matter if you're in the driver's seat or not. I just disrespect there. Disrespect. From Promise Braxton. <laughs> Draping Roxy's neck under the bottom rope cover. One, two, and a kick out from Roxy again. Coming up, gasping for air. Promise Braxton shaking her head almost in disbelief, but we should believe it. Roxy has been the most fighting champion in reality of wrestling's recent history. Oh! Promise Braxton had it scouted and a big boot right to the grill of Rock C. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And now Promise here looking for what? She's looking for a figure four inside cradle. One, two, and a kick out. Looking for that Enzigiri. Oh, look at that beautiful maneuver. Very innovative offense. Now going for a cover. One, two, and a kick out. And you see Promise Braxton took that one second, that one second to acknowledge the crowd, to taunt the crowd, to, to give herself props. That one second could have been the difference between that two count and that three count. Well, here comes a surfboard. Oh, look at that, just rearing back on the chin of Rock C. You see the back extending, hyper extending of the back and the neck, the chin being tugged away at. Roxy finding a way to fight out of it. Promise Braxton in my vantage point here is still in the driver's seat. The champion trying to get the challenger up and look at that. Roxy with a beautiful reversal using her lower center of gravity to bring Promise Braxton into that second buckle. Head full of steam hitting the top buckle. This might be Roxy's opportunity. Oh, chop to the chest and another one. Oh. Those forearms are coming from Rock C, but not with as much force as they were before. You could tell this match is really having the, having taken a toll on the former champion. Head scissor into a Russian leg sweep. Cover one, two, hooks both legs, kick out after two. And you can see the look on Roxy's face right there. She knew that was her moment. That was her opportunity. Go for that big Harlem sidekick almost. Spinning heel kick into a beautiful German suplex. Shoulder was up. Cover. One, two, and a kick out again from Roxy. These two women, without a doubt, showing everything that they got in the center of that squared circle. Oh, beautiful. One, two. King out after two from the destroyer from Rock C. A modified destroyer right there gets her only two and a half. And the former champion now having to dig deep as she is illustrating the injuries from this encounter. Roxy, what is she doing? Oh, swing and a miss from the former champion. And Promise smells blood in the water. Cover one, two, three. That's it. That's it. Promise Braxton retains. Promise Braxton retains after the miscalculation from the former champion, Roxy.
by any means necessary. Promise Braxton walks out of her first title defense, still the reality of wrestling Diamonds Division champion here at Christmas Chaos. Wait a minute, wait a minute. As the champion began to celebrate, I know that music, and there she is. There she is, AQA, the former Reality of Wrestling Diamonds champion herself. AQA has been sidelined out of action with an injury for what feels like more than 12 months, a full calendar year. And she is using this opportunity right now, here, at the Theater Under the Stars in Texas City to call her shot against the rising newcomer. AQA, Thomas Braxton. Could this be the match that we are seeing here in the very near future for that reality of wrestling Diamonds Division Championship as the smack is being talked in the middle of that squared circle. AQA looking to be in tremendous shape. But nevertheless, Promise Braxton walks out. Our biggest event of the year, still, Reality Wrestling, Diamonds Division Champion. For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circles? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The King of Solar Screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? Well, interesting circumstances we find ourselves in this evening, Booker T. You've been known to shake things up. We thought going into the night we would see a one-on-one -on -one contest between the Savage King and Ruthless Ryan Davidson inside the confines of a steel cage, but I guess Ryan Davidson caught you at the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, Ryan Davidson is a guy that needs to know his place. He could have been in a one-on-one -on -one singles match with this man right here, the Savage King. And that right there, I must say, is a tall task in itself. But you come and run your mouth talking at the side of one's neck. That's what happened um, to you. This match has been turned into a triple threat matchup. And it is for the reality of wrestling. California! Yes! The biggest match of his career, we were just talking about it. Cam Cole added to this match, really being in the right place at the right time. Booker T has so many things that had happened to you. You said you were at the right place at the right time. Cam Cole finding himself in that predicament tonight. Yeah, yeah, being uh, winning the television championship, WCW, was all due to a mishap. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. I became one of the greatest television champions of, in the history of WCW, Cam Cole. Right place at the right time, looking for an opportunity. When the opportunity knocks, you better be ready to answer. I like the jacket uh, this kid had. I don't like the, the whatever it is on the back. That's an emoji. Could be him. What do you think? I think we're about to find out, Booker T, as this stretch 
Hummer limousine has just pulled up to the entryway. It's been the, the shopping in style. I mean, this is grand fashion right here in every sense of the word. Uh, and there he is. And there he is. And there opponents. From Perry, Texas. He is the The Davidson Drift is all intact. Booker T, as you see the mini championships, the ruthless Ryan Davidson currently carries only one of them mattering in this contest. That's the reality of wrestling championship. But arriving in style, I gotta like the Davidson Drift tonight. A, a guy that knows uh, that, hey, I, I, I'm the guy. Uh, there, there again, you know, we've heard that old saying when you start sleeping on, on silk bed sheets. Um, you don't look at things the same way you you once did uh, when, when, when you uh, you know roll around in the you know the big hummers and you, you got everybody you know um, you know you know just just you know doing everything you, you tell them to do that right there is the, the main thing about this business when you lose focus you lose focus and I, I think that might be the play here well you know it kind of reminds me of American Gangster when uh, Frank Lucas said the loudest one is. in the room is the weakest one in the room there it is there it is perfect perfect example right there but we will see if that holds true or will the final boss continue to be just that and retain the championship. It is pinfall, it is submission, it is escape the cage, it is a triple threat match in our main event of Christmas Chaos 15, the Reality Wrestling Championship. Let's get that door locked, let's get that door locked, let's get that bell rang and we, we actually got a camera inside the cage here tonight guys uh, so you're gonna see it from a different perspective as well as we got the Casper cam in effect here we go referee calling for the door to be locked it has been Isaac Bouillon in an unenviable, unenviable position. Here we go. Savage King, Cam Cole, Ryan Davidson. A lot of beef between Ryan Davidson and the Savage King. Savage King, though. Wow, well, look at that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we know Ryan Davidson. You know, he's somewhat of a puppet master with the Renegades. Hopefully, he won't get in the head of Cam Cole here tonight as well. Look at that. Cam Cole looking for a cross body, and the Savage King is just incredible athlete. Oh, running power slam. Savage King is unleashing the power. Body avalanche. A ruthless Ryan Davidson, the bear, the final boss, the cornerstone. He's got a lot of monikers, as many as he does championships. Big chop there by Savage King. Big chop there by Ryan Davidson. This thing is turning into a fight again here, Bradley. Whoa, Beautiful big shot. Cam Cole. Right place, right time. Double team action right here. I mean, the thing is, Cam Cole and Ryan Davidson, these guys have been knowing each other for quite some time. And right now, I don't think this is a power play or anything like that, but it's just, you know, the luck of the draw. Mm. Big shot from Ryan Davidson to the dome of Savage King. And look, it looks like it just got Savage King more vicious, more aggressive, more strength. Palm thrust. Mm, Savage King, I mean, you look at the body on this guy, you can tell he's been putting in work. He's a guy that's not sleeping on any workouts or anything like that. And I tell these guys all the time, you got to know, you know, how good you really are. Oh, 
If you can stand up to the guy across from you, that's, that's Savage King. Right now he's down. He's not standing, he's down. But I'm sure he's gonna get back to his feet sooner or later. Beautiful. Beautiful giant suplex there by Ryan Davidson. You know, I mean, I find it interesting that Ryan Davidson and Cam Cole are trying to work together here. Only one of them can win the match. What do you think the thinking no, like is? Like I said, man, I don't think it's a power play or anything like that. But, you know, if you, you know, I've been knowing you for longer. You know, it's almost like the odd man out. There, you know what I mean? The last man getting fired. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Cam Cole has been here a while. Ryan Davis has been here a while. Fist uh, drop. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, Savage Key. I mean, who is this? Oh! We've only seen him around for maybe the last eight to 12 months. That's exactly my point. Get him out of here. And we'll settle it between two re reality of wrestling diehards. Shut your mouth. It's a great point. Cam Cole really coming into his own in recent hey, months. I mean, look, look exactly, exactly what they look like they're talking about right there. If I could read lips, that's exactly what Ryan Davis is saying. Let's get rid of this guy. You and I, we are happy like me. Savage King, he knows what it's about as far as being champion. The guy's been here quite, you know, a short time, but, you know, the capture reality of wrestling goal in such a short time tells me that this guy's a major player. Ah! Neck breaker there by Cam Cole. You're not winning this match! Oh. Any way you look at it, man, two on one is, I mean, you got to get the rough end of the stick. Two on one is it's just, it's just rough, it's just rough, you know, a hill to climb. <laughs> Big shot there from Ryan Davidson, the Savage King. Oh! And a big boot. Savage King battling back in what has become a glorified handicap match inside the confines of a steel ring. No! Oh! And you know what? The unholy alliance may have just been broken. Beautiful German suplex from the Savage King. Savage King got options right here. He can go over the top, out of the door. He can get a cover right here. One of the three. Putting the boots to Cameron Cole and now stocking the final boss. And you might be right here, Book. Looking up to the top. Maybe Savage King was looking to escape right there, but now Cam Cole and him balanced on top of that top rope. Ooh, that was a, that was a tough shot right there. Oh! Savage King toppling off. Cam Cole's going out. No. Oh, and a big double drop kick off the top rope. Seems as though the alliance between Cam Cole and Ryan Davidson no longer. But now Savage King, Fireman's carry position. Oh, wait a minute. Cam Cole finding a way out of it. Oh, and a DDT. Cover. One. Could be it. Two. Take a little bit more than that to stop the Savage King. I mean, you gotta, you gotta hit him with something. You gotta hit him with an uh, atomic bomb to stop this guy. I mean, he's, 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 a, he's superhuman. Well, now Ryan Davidson preventing Cameron Cole from escaping the cage. Ah, big shots there by Cam Cole. You can, he can do it right here. He's going Oh, wait a out. minute, wait a minute. That could be all. Savage King, though, grabbing the leg of Cameron Cole, the right leg, keeping a hold of him. Cam Cole, former reality wrestling tag team champion, television champion. Oh! Cam Cole's about 15 feet high up in the air right now, but he's coming down. Bounce still on that top rope. Whoa! Beautiful! All three men are down. This is your main event of Reality Wrestling Christmas Chaos 15 inside the steel cage. There again, Cam Cole is the one guy that's in the ring right now that has not tasted what it's like to be Reality of Wrestling champion. Could this be his night, Brad? It could be Savage King 
not held that championship. Any championship. Bear Lariat. Lariat. Looking for that Bear Lariat. Cam Cole. Wait a minute, had it scouted. Oh, whoa! Well, that's not exactly the Davidson drip. Those might have been the Davidson jewels and a backbreaker. <laughs> Hey man, it's a cage match. Anything goes in a cage match. I mean, right now, Isaac Bullion is there for one reason, to make it official. Oh! Big TKO! And Savage King made sure to capitalize on that booker and went for a pinfall right there. I don't know, right now, Savage King got something that he's thinking about and he wants to get it out there. Oh! Oh my, a super kick from Ryan Davidson. What a combination. Discus clothesline showing why he is the only Grand Slam champion in this company's history. I mean, what a what a combination there by Ruthless Ryan Davidson. A uh, three-piece with a, a side of fries. And all three men are down again. Seems to be a recurring theme in this cage match. Again, main event, championship on the line. Cameron Cole added just a mere few hours ago to this contest. Savage King, Ryan Davidson have been battling back and forth. Oh, we got, we got some. Here we go. Here we go. It's a race. Oh, it's Savage King going after Ryan Davidson. Nobody's watching Cam Cole. Cam Cole's out. There goes S Savage King quickly getting Cam Cole. Got to pull him back in. Cameron Cole's halfway out. Oh, Ryan Davidson going up there as well. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me they're going to do this. Don't tell me it's going to happen. Oh, all three men are perched in the corner. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. Don't tell oh, Wait a minute. There's a fight up top, guys. What is going to happen? Ryan Davidson and Savage King both falling backward. Cam Cole looking to the crowd. Oh, Booker. Is he thinking what I yeah, think go, that he's thinking? Top. He's going to hit him with it. No. No. Telling them. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. He didn't do the big splash off the top rope. What the hell? Cole faked everybody in the world out and crossed over the reality wrestling champion Ryan Davidson and Savage King and now in our main event out of obscurity the man with the bad attitude Cameron Cole is the reality of wrestling champion Booker T I've seen it and I do not believe it hey man uh, Cam Cole was perched he looked like he was going to come up with a big dive but he saw the Greater, the greater glory, and that, that was to become the reality of wrestling champion, get out there and see if possible I think he made the right decision. Well, hell yeah, he made the right decision. He ought to take that limousine away from Ryan Davidson and have a party tonight. Go hit up Richmond Avenue and enjoy himself. Cameron Cole is your new reality of wrestling champion. And Ryan Davidson, none too pleased Booker T. Ryan Davidson talked about the deck being stacked against him. This is chaos. Wow. 15, this is the way it's going to be remembered. Ryan Davidson, I'm sure he's not a happy camper right now, but you know, you get what you ask for. You run your mouth, you, get, you put yourself in a bad position. And you put yourself in a bad position, bad things can happen. And the Savage King standing and staring in disbelief. What the hell is happening? In reality of wrestling, Booker T, Christmas Chaos 15 has lived up to its name. And we will see how this plays out in the weeks and months to come. Thank you everybody for joining us this evening. For Booker T, I'm Brad Gilmore, and this is the reality of wrestling.